In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you could create an AI agent that automatically creates Facebook posts and posts them for you to your Facebook page. Now, you can use this for affiliate marketing, digital products, or simply to grow a mailing list. But what we're going to do today is we're going to create this type of image, as you can see here, and we're only going to use just a few steps. This only takes five steps, and I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. So let's go ahead and get into it. The great thing about this quick automation, it's not going to take that long, is that we can have an AI agent do 100% of the work and we can automate this where we just have to check on it once every few weeks or few days just to make sure that there aren't any issues. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going to happen based on the niche that we give it. In previous videos, I talked about how to find a niche and how to find low competition niches. Definitely check out those other videos if you want to learn how to do that all using AI, based on the niche that we give ChatGPT, it's going to create text. Then it's going to turn that text into an image. We're going to download that image, not us personally, it's going to download to the cloud. And then we're simply going to upload it to a Facebook group. So as you can see here, it says create a post based on our niche, create an image, and then just simply upload it. It is really, really simple. And let's go ahead and talk about a few use cases. Now you could do this to start affiliate marketing. You could do this to grow engagement, to sell a digital product, to start building a mailing list, all on autopilot. Now, if you wanted to start affiliate marketing or digital products or mailing list, that's gonna be a separate video that we could set up, but this is the, the basis of it. The most important thing that you wanna get is attention and traffic. And the best way to do that is to use social media. Now, I know someone's going to say, Alston, who uses Facebook? But if we take a look at a website called SimilarWeb, you can see that Facebook had over 11.92 billion visits last month, and that's actually up almost 10%. So, chances are there are a lot of people using Facebook, and there's even higher chance that your target audience is there. So, as you can see here, let's go ahead and jump back over. Let's go ahead and get into the tools that you need. You only need three tools, make.com, which you can start for free. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get started. It will be an affiliate link. You need ChatGPT and API, which you can actually create and set up. It takes like five seconds. And then you need a Facebook business page account. That's really easy to set up too. So within 15, 20 minutes, you could set this up and you could start having posts done for you. You'll just need two prompts. And there's two ways to get those prompts. One, you can join the AI platform proof profits membership uh, it'll be the first link in the description where when, if you join that membership you will not only get a link to this exact step-by-step -step blueprint but you'll get a link to all of the blueprints that we cover i'll show you how to start an online business where it's platform proof where you're not relying on one particular platform or you can purchase this blueprint outright and when you purchase the blueprint you'll get access to a private community where you can ask questions you'll be able to download this exact canva document You'll get obviously the blueprint and you'll be able to get updates from me as I talk about different things. So two ways to get it or just simply follow along. This one isn't that difficult. You might have to watch it once or twice, but once you watch it, follow along, you'll be able to, to get into this and do this really easy. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about how you can do this step by step. The first thing that you're going to need to do is create an account on make.com. You can start for free. I'll put a link, like I mentioned, I'll put a link in the description to get started. And what you're going to do is you're going to just create a new scenario. And to create a new scenario, let's give it a name. We're going to call this uh, Facebook posting. And then you might want to add in something like page or, 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 or something like that. Next, we're going to click this plus sign and we are going to go to open AI. And then within open AI, we're going to click on create a completion. And from here, we can connect our open AI connection. As you can see, I've got a couple of them. All you have to do is go to um, open, open AI API, open AI API, and you'll be able to create an account, right? Log in, click on API platform. You'll be able to get the necessary information. Click add. You'll go ahead and get it set up. If you don't have a connection set up yet, just pause the video. It takes 30 seconds. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to click on create a chat completion, and we're just going to leave it at that first one. Then we're going to select a model. What I would recommend is select the newest, latest model. It doesn't really matter, but as you can see, we've got that one just like that. 
and then we are going to put in the prompt. And essentially the prompt is based on our niche, give me a text is really all of all it says. Basically it says write a short engaging Facebook post based on our niche, right? So we're gonna select user, I'm gonna paste this in and then I am just going to put in my niche. A few videos ago we decided on what my niche was. It is uh, dog treats for beginners. And really that's it, we just click save. Okay, and if we wanted to we could run this and we could see the output. But the next step is to actually create an image based on the information that we just got. So again, we're gonna click on the plus sign. We are going to click on open AI once again, and then we're gonna scroll down to generate an image. Here we are going to select Dolly 3, and then we're going to grab our prompt. And what's really interesting is what we can say is based on the first output that we get, so based on result, or we could even do based on choices, message, content, either one will work, generate an image. And that's exactly what we are gonna do, believe it or not, okay? Like I said, I've got a complete prompt. You can get it in two different ways that I mentioned, but we're just gonna click save for now. Now that we have that, we can run it. And let me just run this once. Make sure that you are saving early and often because if you don't save, you'll wind up losing all of the hard work that you make. So we're gonna click run this once and it takes probably about 30 seconds to a minute at most to give us a, a text and then an image. So if I click on this, you can see that this is the text that it generated. It came up with both the emojis as well as um, hashtags. So it does everything that we need for us. We just need to sit back and relax or once we set this up once, we can walk away. Now if we click on this and we look at output, we click on data, we click on one, we scroll all the way down, we get this URL. This is the URL that we are gonna have to convert, download and convert into an image. But if we just paste this in like this, this is what our image would look like. As you can see, it's a dog eating something. And hopefully whatever it's eating is based on the text output that we got previously. So now that we have that and we see that it works, the next thing that we wanna do is we want to actually convert the text because right now it's in a, a format that Facebook isn't going to understand. In fact, let me just show you what that looks like. So if we click on the plus sign, we go Facebook pages, and we wanna go all the way down to create an image, create a post with photos like that, right? And so what we would need to do is you need to connect your Facebook account to uh, make.com. It's really simple. You just click on add and you walk through the steps. And then it's connected. You're gonna have your Facebook business page listed. As you can see, I have a few of them. I'm just gonna type in must love doggy. And then the photo, what you would want to upload. If I just clicked on open API and then I put the message down here. Uh, for example, we're just going to do, uh, we're gonna do result. We should get an error. It should not work. Now watch, I've done this a bunch of times. Watch this work. Okay, so if we do this, we're just gonna click on run once. It should not work. What should happen is what it should report an error because we need to convert, we need to download the file so that we can actually upload it right into Facebook. But let's see, it'll be my luck that it actually works. Okay, great. So we got the error. You can see here, missing value of required parameter. Um, what we would need to do here is click on the the tool here and click on link. What we should do is we should do two things. We need to get this tool here, so click on tools, and then we need to click on set variable. We're gonna drag this up here, and we're just gonna put it right next to that so that it's connected, and we're gonna click on this, and then we're gonna give it a variable name, and I'm just gonna call this chat, chat var, chat var okay? And then for the value, we are going to do very important that we do choices, zero message content, okay? So what we can do is we're gonna click on this drop down here, choices. We're gonna go to message, click the drop down again, and then we're gonna click on content. And this is going to convert the weird output into a string that we can use to upload this right into, uh, right into Facebook, okay? 
And then the final, final thing that we need to do is we need to add in, uh, we, we need to get a file. And to do that, we simply just go HTTP, search HTTP, and we're gonna click get a file. And we're gonna connect this once again. We're simply going to click on this and then we would get the URL that we got from the image. So we would click on this and then we are going to look at data and then URL just like that. Click save. And then if we run this, it'll download the URL to the cloud. We don't actually get it on our computer. But the final step would just be to connect this just like that. And then here, what we can do is we want to upload a photo, as you can see here. Or we could do download photo from URL, but we want to upload a photo. We want to click on HTTP, get a file. We're going to leave the caption blank. And then if we just leave it at result, we should get an error. Actually, if we leave it at result, it, it should work. Okay, and then we could even add something like um, comment, learn to learn, learn more, right? And that way we can get some engagement. We can send DMs to people and what have you. So we are going to click save and then click run once. And hopefully this works. Hopefully we don't have any issues and you don't have to watch me troubleshoot live. Okay, so far so good. These ones are usually a good sign. Uh, we were able to download the file there. And let's see, it looks like we have ones all the way across the board. If you run into an error, you're gonna get a red. But let's take a look. We can go to Facebook. And this was the previous image that we have. If I click refresh, let's see what we get. Do we get a, look at that, perfect. So it was uploaded just now. We click see more. Comment, learn to learn more. Everything that we want, we got. So this is really, really cool. And again, we don't have to, we don't have to be a part of this now, right? We've set this up where we've got an automation and this could happen frequently. Now, what I'm going to encourage you to do is if you decide to run this automation, which I encourage you to, make sure that you are setting the intervals that you are doing like once every 17 hours or 13 hours do it don't do it so much because you're going to get an error facebook technically doesn't like automation and you you might get flagged for running automations if you do it too much but if you did like every 13 hours right or if you just kind of what you could even do is you could do like a randomized function where you just randomly run this every so often. So you could do a random function where if the number hits a number, one or eight or 32, it runs this. But what's really cool about this is now we have something that we can take advantage of to start getting traction. We are creating content where there are a bunch of people. The pet niche, the niche that we've got into, we've gone into is a very popular niche over on Facebook. And we can start getting eyeballs and we can start getting attention. Tell me what you think about this one. This one's really cool. And if you wanted to uh, turn this into a real AI agent, even though you don't have to do that, you simply would save this. You would come back over to AI agents and then you would actually create a new agent just like that. But you don't even have to do that for this one. This can be completely automated. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. Is this something that you plan on using? Is this something that you could use to help you grow your business? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, share, and follow along as I show you how I go about building an online business simply using automation and AI agents. Thanks for watching and watch this video next if you want to learn more about using automations to start an online business.